this, this, <laughs> this is the dreaming. And uh, when it comes to white noise machines, I love white noise machines. If I'm working with someone who isn't using a white noise machine, I usually encourage them to add a white noise machine to try it because I found it makes a huge difference for my, for families with their babies um, and toddlers. And my children all like to have white noise as well when, when they are sleeping. And I and my husband also like to have white noise when we're sleeping. <laughs> One time we took a trip to Rome and <laughs> the time zone shift from Arizona to Rome was huge. And so we I pulled up the white noise on my phone because the guy in the room opposite of the wall, right where our bed was, was watching TV late into the night and we were exhausted, like, oh yeah, white noise. So I turned on some white noise on my phone that I'd found that I like. Um, and it we could sleep through all of the noise that the guy was doing on the back and the, the next wall over and from our Airbnb. And then we like, we, then we slept a lot. We slept in really late. So I love white noise, but try to find a good white noise. You don't wanna leave your phone in your child's bedroom. There's some, interesting white noise sounds like on Alexa that we found and some people use the hatch. And so I've, I've heard sounds from a lot of different machines, but I have to say with, with this one, it is my new favorite. Just like you were saying, a lot of sick coaches yeah. think it's their favorite. So small. This is my new favorite. I like it better than any other sound that I have ever heard, like seriously. So my husband snores and I snore. And so I've been keeping this beside my bed. So if my husband wakes me up in the middle of the night with his snoring. I like I'm never ready to go to turn on and put it between us to help lock the sound because white noise is so good as as a bit of a sound, a lock sound screen. <laughs> and and something else that I really like about this that is different from a lot of white noise machines is that this one has no lights on it. Now I was reading through the comments on Amazon and one person complained that there were no lights on. They were saying, can you please make the buttons light up? And I'm thinking, no, no, you do not want that. It is a great feature that there are no lights on it. There is a version, a newer version that has a big light on it and, but at least it's yellow. So that's, that's good. So maybe put and, that in and turn it off. I don't know because I don't have that one to play with. I only have this one to play with, but this one has no lights. Um, and then there's another one that's kind of round, has that round style. It has a ring of light on the top. It looks like you can touch the light. It looks like there's a button right on top that you can like, like this, that you can like touch it and then turn the light on and off. But this one has no lights. The, the buttons do glow in the dark. It probably doesn't last all night, but um I took it into like the dark bathroom just a few minutes ago. I'm like, oh yeah, the buttons glow. Let me check that out. Cause I haven't noticed it glowing when it's been beside my bed in the middle of the night. Cause you know, the glowing, it kind of wears off and yeah, they, they totally glow. So when you first are starting with your baby, um, I don't recommend that you put it in the crib or that you hang it on the bar on the, on the rails, like it has in some of the pictures. I don't recommend that you do that. I recommend that you put it on the bedside table or, or a table near the crib or under the crib. <laughs> um, and, and that far away, the, the glow in the dark lights aren't going to make a difference um, because it's, it's actually quite subtle. So huge feature that there are no lights on this. Dream Egg, don't change that. This is so good. I I always think that when these companies make these products for babies, I'm like, do a little research, figure out what is actually needed and developmentally appropriate. They did. Yes. <laughs> Talk to sleep coaches. We know. <laughs> yeah. They did. So that's good. It has a, it has a ring. Comes with a, a ring so that you can hang it on. Um, like if you take it with you for it with your stroller or it's got this shoelace style string with the clips at the end. So it's not going to fray. That's good. Um, and it comes with a, a little cord. It's USB C, C which is the same as my AirPods. And I use the charger for my AirPods to charge it. Um, and that totally worked. I read in the comments that if you use something way more powerful, like a MacBook charger, that that's too much power for this little thing. The battery is amazing. It's three times more. It's three times longer. 1800 MAH instead of 500, which is typical for something like this, MAH. And I forget what that stands for. It's like mega it's mini measurement. something it's the, hours. It's the measurement. 
Um, but how long does it last for on one charge? So like 24 hours. Oh, so you could play this all night and it would still be charged for the naps. <laughs> So you can, it can be like for three nights in a row. Yeah. Uh, some people in the comments were saying they use it for three or four nights without charging it. Especially if you're just using it to fall asleep and you use this timer feature. Maybe I can talk for 15 minutes. <laughs> so there's this timer feature um, here. And if you're using the timer, that does, there's a little tiny yellow light that lights up beside. So it does 30, 30, 60, and 90 minutes if you want it to go off automatically. Um, myself, if I turn it on, I want it to stay on until I wake up. Um, if you're using it for a baby, you turn it on as they're fall before they fall asleep, like when they're ready to start trying to fall asleep. That's when you turn it on and you want it to turn it off when they wake up. So I would not actually use the timer features for myself, but um, for other instances, um, you, you totally could. If you use the timer feature um, like for a nap, um, if you set it for only 30 minutes, the child might wake up when the white noise goes off um, because you want the same environment when you fall asleep to be still there in the middle of the sleep. If you have a, if you have a partial arousal or an arousal and you kind of wake up before your sleep is done, you want the environment to stay as similar as possible. So um, I would just like turn it on and off manually. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, sounds. The sound quality of this thing is is really good. I like most of the sounds. And the sounds that I don't like, it's not because they're bad sounds. It's just like, I don't like that sound. <laughs> so um, there are 21 sounds. So I'm going to take you through them. And if you're listening, if you're still watching live, uh, please let me know if you can hear this through through the audio. Because sometimes it, it doesn't go through the audio. Uh, let's start with the white noise. Okay, you probably can't hear that. I'm going to turn it all the way up. So it has three white noise sounds. Oops, and that's as loud as it goes. This is my favorite white noise sound. Can I get like some thumbs up or some hearts? This or... is my favorite white noise sound. Sorry, I turned my <laughs> volume on. See <laughs> if you can hear it. Okay, it's it's a low pitch sound. I would say this is kind of like a brown noise sound because it's really low pitch. And then if you hit the if you hit the white noise, this is the white noise one. It's got these like little wavy lines on it. If you hit that again, that takes you to the next one. So it's a little bit higher pitch. And it's got some more higher pitch. Sounds in it. Sounds like more like a book. Like, like waterfall. I think it's what it kind of sounds like. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice lower tone. That was almost like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, this might be the one that's supposed to be a vacuum cleaner. Like there's a car. Like, there's like a, a list. Like there's three fan sounds, three white noise sounds, one vacuum cleaner. It, we have to go through and identify to get to the shushing sound though. Oh, that's that's like another one. Oh, one of them is campfire. It's kind of vacuum cleaner-ish. Yeah. Do you that? Did it? That means you've gone through them all. Okay. All right. So then this little music note. This is nature. Nature sounds. Not for sleeping. This is the one I don't like for, yeah, not for, not for sleeping. <laughs> but if you needed like a fun sound for ambiance. Or if you, if you feel zen with it. Yeah. If you were on a space shuttle and there was no sound, this would be a good one. Well, and, or if you were trying to like mimic the rainforest. In your, in your, in like, your, in your museum. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there's another ocean. Oh, sure sound so that this is like a traditional like I think of Hawaii when I'm in this one people want to use this ocean sound with their children and I don't think an ocean sound is as soothing for children as it is for adults who've been near an ocean um I would stick more with the white noise sounds but for an adult I kind of soothing water it's like a water but it's like a it's almost like a a water with the same kind of wave type, like kind of come, comes in and comes out. Maybe that's the gentle surf. 
Yes, yes. You're looking at the list of sounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Rain. Rain. Oh, oh with thunder. <laughs> it's a storm. Okay, the one's a thunderstorm, and then there's so I think there's, there's two, two rain, rain sounds. Exactly. Here's one rain, rain. sound. Oh, okay. here's another rain sound. They're they're both good. Yeah, they're both good. Fire, campfire, campfire. Oh, see, some people think this is crickets, but it's actually spring peepers, which are frogs. Oh, and that's them all. Okay, so then we have, and we're back to the rainforest sound. Now, these are the baby sounds. It's the interesting one everyone likes. No. Maybe it's too loud right now. It is, it's just pretty loud. But if you were shushing from the doorway, turn the volume down a bit and see how it sounds. There we go. If it was beside the crib, maybe this, but if you're like from the doorway, like you can test like have one person stand beside the where the baby is and have the other person and playing with the machine and have the other person like out in the hallway and then try the white noise machine beside the crib and then try the white noise machine from the hallway um, and, and kind of play with the sounds that way. That's vacuum cleaner. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, heartbeat from like womb, womb okay. sounds. Yeah. All right. Oh, and that's the end. Okay. Then we have lullabies. It's not. The lullabies are nice. I think the lullabies nice. are nice. I've heard some other like lullabies on some other machines and these are nicer. They, this, they did a good job with this. The, um, because a lot of times the sound and the pitch, you wonder if it's going to create, um, it, you know, hearing damage or it's too tinny. It's just sort of has the irritating. And, you know, we know like children who have sensitivities are going to be really irritated by these, like just sort of grating sort of sounds, but this is actually very calming and very soothing and it's not it doesn't it doesn't seem mechanical which is nice yeah of all the lullabies this one is my favorite but then there's also this one a little tweak with a little star not bad i wouldn't do it for sleep but uh before sleep more higher pitch yeah, yeah but it's pretty this one sounds like a xylophone. So you could use these for distraction, for calming. Shh. It's just a good thing. Okay, we've been through. We've been through them all. Yeah, there we go. And then um, on the on the back, can you there? I angle it for the light. You can see it. So this little button right here um, slides. Oh, back and forth and it's like a lock so you can still turn it on and off but you can't like adjust the volume so, so okay. if your child is playing with it it, oh, it, it locks lock doesn't, the doesn't say change the settings oh that's awesome because that would be really challenging if you like you can imagine as a parent you find like the perfect setting to get your child sleeping and then somebody messes it up and then you have to go through and find it again. Yeah. <laughs> so I, the, I, the white noise sounds are my, are my favorite sounds on here. The other sounds I could use for other things, um, but at night in bed, beside the crib, um, when you're napping, you can, you can have it hanging from your hip. Um, if you are got your baby held. Oh, if you're walking around, you mean? Yeah. If you like just put it in your pocket yeah. or something. Um, and, you know, one That's of the really things nice. that the coaches said uh, is that um, it was uh, like, it's great because you can take it in the car and bring it in the stroller. Um, I did, I did ask some, some of the sleep coaches and uh, let me just see if I have what they said, because one of them said that they were completely addicted to it. And <laughs> so, um yeah, and it was like their favorite. And, you know, when, when they knew what it was, they the ones that knew what it was were just like totally sold on it. Yeah, not that white noise is addictive. It's like white noise is like finding the right pillow for your neck. It's like finding, helping to create the right environment for your brain. 
because some brains are, are really busy and the white noise, it really does help you get into deeper sleep cycles for longer. Yeah. And the great thing is this is just available on Amazon. 